Imagine a world where working is a choice, not a necessity. That was Elon Musk's audacious prediction. It was dismissed as science fiction until now. In 2024, engineers unveiled a humanoid robot so lifelike it blurred the boundary between human and machine, challenging what we believe is possible. But behind the headlines, deeper questions remain. Has Musk finally delivered on his promise, or are we witnessing a new kind of uncertainty? The truth may upend how we think about labor, technology, and the future itself. Elon Musk has never been shy about making bold promises. In interviews and on stage, he has painted a future where work is no longer a requirement, but a choice. A world where work will be optional. He compared the idea to playing sports or video games, something people do for fun, not survival. By late 2025, Musk was claiming that artificial intelligence and humanoid robots would make this possible within a couple of decades. The vision is sweeping. Robots and artificial intelligence providing so much abundance that money itself could become irrelevant. Musk has gone even further, suggesting that poverty could be eliminated entirely if machines take over the hard labor. He has called humanoid robots the biggest product in history, predicting they will eclipse even smartphones. According to Musk, there will come a time when everyone wants a robot in their home or workplace, just as everyone once wanted a mobile phone. Tesla's Optimus project is at the center of this vision, but Musk expects other companies to follow, creating an entire industry around general-purpose robots. The prediction is not just about technology, it is about redefining what it means to have a job, to earn a living, and to participate in society. If robots can do nearly every physical task, what happens to the structure of daily life? Musk's statements have set a measurable target, a future where people work because they want to, not because they have to. The scale of this promise is hard to overstate. If realized, it would mean the most profound shift in labor and wealth since the dawn of the industrial age. Promises of a robot-powered future have always come with deadlines. In 2019, Elon Musk told investors that a fleet of Tesla robo-taxis would be on the road by 2020. That year came and went. The cars still needed drivers, and regulators classified Tesla's system as driver assist only. No commercial robo-taxi network ever materialized. Each time a target slipped, the explanation shifted. Sometimes it was a technical hurdle, sometimes a regulatory snag, sometimes a change in design. But the pattern was clear, bold timelines, visible progress, then a quiet push to next year. The same cycle played out with Optimus. In August 2021, Musk unveiled the Tesla bot concept, saying a working prototype could arrive in 2022 and factory use would follow soon after. The first prototype did appear, but it was late, limited, and tethered. By 2023 and 2024, Optimus could walk untethered and fold laundry in staged demos, but the robots were still far from the general purpose laborers Musk had described. In April 2024, Musk said Optimus would be performing real factory tasks by the end of the year and could be ready for sale by the end of 2025. Three months later, he revised the date. Now, Optimus would enter low production for Tesla's own use in 2025, with hopes for high volume production for other companies by 2026. The window had moved again. Each revision keeps the dream alive, but also leaves room for doubt. For every leap in capability, the finish line seems to drift just out of reach. The tension between vision and delivery is as much a part of this story as the technology itself. Hidden behind every headline-grabbing demo is a team of engineers working on problems most people never see. To make a robot move like it is alive, they start with the body. Tesla's Optimus uses custom-built actuators at every joint, tiny electric motors, each engineered for maximum torque in a small space. These are not off-the-shelf parts. Each joint is packed with sensors that track position, force, and speed, allowing the robot to adjust its movements with split-second precision. Inside the hands, there are 22 degrees of freedom, more than most industrial robots, and close to what a human hand can do. 
This level of dexterity means Optimus can pick up a fragile object or grip a heavy tool, all with the same set of fingers. The robot's balance comes from a network of sensors, cameras in the head, inertial measurement units in the chest and limbs, and four sensors in the feet. These feed data into the robot's control stack, a software system that fuses all the signals together and calculates how to stay upright, where to step, and how to react if something changes. The control stack does not simply follow a script, it learns from thousands of hours of simulated and real-world movement, tweaking each step to make walking smoother, more energy efficient, and more human. This is where the real magic happens. The combination of hardware and software, tuned by teams who spend years chasing tiny improvements no one else notices, but that add up to motion that feels almost natural. When Optimus walks across a room or picks up a shirt, it is the result of relentless trial, error, and refinement, each step an answer to the question, how close can we get to life? In May 2024, Tesla released footage from inside one of its factories. The Optimus Gen 2 robot stands at a workstation, its hands moving with measured precision as it sorts battery cells on a bench. There are no visible cables, no human handlers guiding its every move. The robot picks up a cell, places it with the others, then turns and walks across the factory floor. Its gait is steady, almost casual, weaving between carts and equipment as workers pass by. Sensors in its head and limbs scan the environment, allowing it to avoid obstacles and adjust its path in real time. Each step, each turn, is calculated by an onboard AI that fuses camera feeds and motion data at lightning speed. The robot's hands, powered by 22 degrees of freedom, grip objects with a balance of strength and delicacy that would have seemed impossible just a few years ago. The scene is brief, tightly edited, and unmistakably staged for the camera. But it is more than a lab trick. For the first time, a humanoid robot is shown performing practical tasks inside a real industrial environment, untethered and moving freely. There is no sign of a safety cage or a technician ready to step in. Tesla presents this moment as a glimpse of what is coming. Robots not just imitating human movement, but stepping into human roles. The footage sends a jolt through the tech world. Engineers and investors debate what is real, what is hype, and how close the world is to a future where robots like Optimus are not just prototypes, but colleagues. The moment Optimus stepped onto the factory floor, debate erupted far beyond the walls of Tesla. Labor advocates warned that robots like these could threaten millions of jobs, especially in warehouses and manufacturing, where hundreds of thousands of logistics robots already work alongside people. Economists pointed to the risk of widening inequality if automation outpaces new job creation. At the same time, engineers and tech enthusiasts marveled at the possibilities. Robots could take on dangerous or monotonous tasks, freeing humans for more creative work. But the psychological impact is harder to measure. Some workers described an uneasy feeling watching a machine move with human-like intent. The uncanny valley, where robots look almost but not quite like us, can trigger discomfort, even fear. Privacy advocates raised alarms about robots equipped with cameras and sensors, warning that a helper could just as easily become a surveillance device. Across social media and opinion columns, the awe of technical achievement collided with skepticism about its cost. The world is left asking, are these machines partners, tools, or rivals? The next decade could see robots step out of factories and into the fabric of daily life. Tesla's target is a robot that costs between $20,000 and $30,000 once production hits 1 million units a year, less than many new cars. If that price becomes reality, a business could order a fleet of humanoids for the cost of a few employees. Musk claims each robot could work around the clock, delivering up to five times the annual productivity of a human. The promise is efficiency. Robots handling dangerous tasks in mines, exploring disaster zones, or delivering packages at midnight. But the same technology could show up in homes, hospitals, and schools, blurring the line between tool and companion. Policymakers face a new challenge. 
How do we manage a world where the workforce might double overnight, not with people, but with machines? The decisions made now will shape whether robots are partners in prosperity or the engine of a deeper divide. The future is unwritten, and the choice may not belong to engineers alone. Today, lifelike robots are no longer a distant promise. They are shaping industries and rewriting what work means. As automation accelerates, society faces choices about power, equity, and identity. The line between human and machine grows thinner. The future is not waiting. It is already knocking. What will we let in?